How's it going guys? Welcome to the first web tutorial video I'm going to be doing. Um, just to go over little things, I've been a web developer for about two years now, so I have some pretty deep experience when it comes to web development. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to install uh, XAMPP and set it up for basic users. So sit back, uh, relax I suppose, or think harder, and enjoy the video. So to get started today, what we're going to be doing is first of all going to apachefriends.org and installing uh, XAMPP. And uh, I'm on a Windows 10 machine, so I'm going to install it for Windows 10. And uh, it should actually start downloading. Nope. It, oh, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go. We got it installed. We're going to actually uh, open it up right now. And we will accept that. And now it is going to start installing XAMPP. Let's see, we want just um, Apache for now. We don't want anything else just because it's a tutorial. Um, by default, you can leave all of these check marked and, and no issues. You know, it's not going to interfere with anything. It's just going to be what servers uh, you come with. And then all of this we will include as well. Um, the file location, we're actually going to go to this drive and right here. And then we'll click next and language and then setup. And now what it's going to do is, as you can see over here, it's going to start unpacking all of the files that we'll need for our um, Apache process. And uh, while it's downloading, we can actually head into here and start editing some stuff. I recommend getting a... Um, editor like Visual Studio Code so that you can easily edit HTML without any issues. Most of the time you're going to have to do at least a little bit of light editing, but first of all we're going to go into here and we're going to redirect this to home. And so this is the redirect, so um, as soon as you know you type in the IP address or a local host, it's going to take you here and say is the server HTTPS? If it's not, then it's HTTP, and then it's going to uh, direct you to the location. Um, I don't know why that's there, but it is. So this index.php, XAMPP, or Apache specifically, is always going to look for an index.php folder. If you wanted to put your website, if you just had one page, you could delete all of this and just have your index.php be your home. But it's just easier to redirect to home and we're just going to be calling it home for now i'm not going to put any html you might see people do that where they put html we're just going to put it as home right now and um, we're actually going to go and make sure our installation is finished it is almost there uh, most of this stuff you shouldn't need um, these are just going to be simple images a lot of this stuff is unnecessary and we'll replace the favicon later um, let's just wait for this to get done here, and it should be just about done. In the meantime, we're actually going to create a new folder, uh, not a new folder, my bad. We're going to create a new text document, and we're going to rename this uh, home.php, and that's going to change it to a PHP file type, and what we're actually going to do is open this up in a fresh editor, and I'm actually going to do some little cheaty business here, and we're just going to copy... A chunk of this over to here and then we need of course our ending HTML Oop, there we go um, I think they want you to put language too but nobody likes doing that so we'll actually just do uh, we'll do like a h1 tag right here and do hello And there we go. Now we should have a simple hello. And you know what? Just for kicks and laughs, we'll do like a button here as well. And slash button. Or we'll change this to click or click. Okay, so we have some simple stuff down now. Let's actually go back into here and change this to a capital H. And I actually need to grab some files now from another folder, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and uh, XAMPP has finished um, 
setting itself up and so now it's going to open this wonderful panel right here which we are actually going to minimize for now and uh, the folder that I added I'll go over real quick what it does is um, we're turning the rewrite engine on and all we're doing is by copying and pasting this code in which I'll have linked in the description um, it removes the .html and the .php from the format type so whenever you're specifying directories instead of having to do the .php that we would normally have to do we don't need to do that anymore we can just do home it makes it extremely versatile and a lot simpler when doing URLs um, also uh, in the browsers when you go into a website um, instead of it having this .html it's just going to be this so of course that's not going to take us there but it gets rid of the .html and PHP for you really nice thing to have in any website you're doing it just makes it look a lot more professional but now that that's done, we can head over to um, our home again, and our server should actually be ready to go. Just double check that we've got our home in there. Yep, there it is. And so now let's head over to our Firefox tab, and um, we'll actually go over to the server panel first, and we will start the server. And now, as you can see, it's by default, it's running on port 80 and 443, and this server is... Uh, running on port 80 currently, so we can type in uh, localhost. Okay, so after a little bit of troubleshooting, I did get it to show up um, on localhost, and I will show you the issue. I did forget to put a slash right here um, because I'm specifying the directory it's going to look for. Uh, my bad on my part, and um, so here's our current uh, simple HTML website that has a button and a simple hello. Um, so now I'll just do a little bit of styling on the website to make it look you know, a little bit cleaner, um, so that it's just looking nicer. And uh, currently, by default, it's running on port 80, so if we wanted to theoretically port forward it, all we need to do is go into our uh, router here and add, as you can see, I already have port 80 port forwarded here on this port, and it's just running TCP because that's what most everything uses nowadays. Um, but you want to make sure I'm using a TP link router and you want to make sure usually it's going to be called port forwarding and this one it's called virtual servers so it could be different depending on your router that's something you look up in the manual so theoretically if i type in uh my ip that i have pointed and i go here um it's going to take me to the same page and um i have it by default set to go to https for this domain and it's going to say it is uh not secured and uh, which is completely normal so um, because I don't have certificates set up which will be going over in a future video um, it's going to be unsecure it's just going to be HTTP so if you ever put that in um, you'll just see the unsecure thing this is great if you just run in a home website um, but if you're running anything public I highly recommend watching my HTTPS video however let's do just a little bit of styling to make this look a little bit nicer so we'll go into our home here and we'll do And just like that, we have ourselves a little website here that allows us to download a simple text folder by clicking it. It took a little while for me to figure it out, but I managed to get it all done. And um, of course, you don't need to manually program all your HTML. There's a lot of editors out there that will allow you to create a website and then download the raw HTML, which you can just copy and paste in and then remove their uh, whatever they add to it that you don't like. I'd highly recommend that option. It's a lot easier to start a website uh, by doing that, if, especially if you know uh, a little bit of HTML. So that's going to be it for this episode. The next episode, I'll be going over um, just how to set up your HTTP server better. You know, have link trees and all of that, multiple pages. 
And then the third episode is going to be um, secure hosting and getting your website certified so that it's HTTPS certified. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.